People often think that the problem of evil is a real problem for Christians or for other people who believe in God. I actually think the problem of evil is even more of a problem for people who don't believe in God, because if you think evil is a problem, that assumes that there is a good and that there is an evil, but how can you have that standard unless you believe that there really is a God who governs a moral universe? I also think that the problem of good is an even bigger problem uh, for people who don't believe in God than the problem of evil is for Christians, because how can you explain the beauty of the universe or uh, the joy in a mother's heart as she welcomes her baby into the world or any one of a thousand other wonderful, marvelous things in the world that God has made? Uh, so we should put the problem of evil into perspective and uh, realize that it, it may not be as much of a problem as people sometimes think. But the, I think the main thing to say about the problem of evil is that we believe in a God who has actually done something about the problem of evil. And God himself, in the person of his son, has entered into this world in all of its fallenness and brokenness and himself has suffered uh, the hardship and loss of life in a fallen world, and more than that, has died to redeem it. And uh, it's our hope in Christ, in his sufferings, but also in his resurrection, that gives us the hope of a perfect world in which all things are made new. And I think rather than really a problem for Christianity, evil is one of the greatest strengths of Christianity because we believe in a savior who will redeem a fallen world.